What's going on, Crafty Nistas? It's been a little while, but I'm still here. I've just been busy with my eight-month-old. I am back today with a tutorial on Dollar Tree wall stickers. So I came across this. It says it's an edge glued panel. Um, but on the instructions to it, it also says it can be used for de decor. Um, I'm going to use this as a plaque. I picked this up at Lowe's and, <clears throat> excuse me, I thought I would use it um, for two different sides. I would, since um, it's not flat on the other side, it's um, rounded, it, it has the same amount of uh, space on both sides. I thought I would um, use one side with white paint and one side with some stain. So I'm going to use this acrylic um, chalk paint that I picked up at Michael's for another project. I'm going to use that. I like using that because your painting doesn't have to always be perfect. It has that antique edge look. And then I'm going to try this Min Wax stain um it's the first time i've actually used stain and so i wanted to try that out and see how i like that so i'm going to do one side in the stain and one side in the white paint then i picked up these stickers from the dollar tree these are the main street wall creations i've seen in um different halls where people have had some inspirational ones with scriptures. I have yet to find them in my area, but these were two that were some sentiments that I would like um, in my home. So I wanted to use these two. So I looked at the little picture on the front and seen the different wordings and accessories that goes with it the heart and all and I liked what they said so I want to go off of that so first I started with the white paint and once I figured out to paint with the grain um, I had it going so here I am first of all painting with the white paint just getting a good coat on it and using my brush strokes to get good coverage on this one side. Then this was the project when it was finished. I got the white paint covered after it dried and then I'm going to flip it over and you can see that that's why this is so unique. Most of them have a flat side on the other side. It's not the rounded brought outside on both sides. So this is why this plaque was a good find that I found at Lowe's. And I believe this was like $7 and it's 15 by 15, I forgot to mention. So here I am. I stirred it up a little bit and worked with the stain. This is the espresso color. Now, of course, with all stains, it's going to look dark um, when you first start. And a couple of disclosures. Like I said, this is the first time I've worked with stain. So, of course, make sure that if you... I recommend using it outside. If you are using it outside, open your window. And then I would recommend um, having your area covered and um, use gloves. I would recommend doing that, especially if you're going to pick it up or on the side while it's wet. So I recommend having some gloves by and make sure you're in a ventilated area. But I'm using just like the directions say this is after the 10 to 15 minute period and i'm just taking a cloth which this is just a big bunch of paper towels i've wadded up 
because I didn't want to really stain up a cloth, one of my craft room cloths. And I'm just wiping it through. As you can see, as I'm wiping the excess off, I love how it turned out. That color, it's a rich, um, like I said, espresso color. And I have that color on my TV stand. I also have that in the bottom of my living room couch. The furniture has wood on the bottom of it. And so that deep wood goes with the decor um, furniture pieces that I have in my home. So that stain really working this through. It really is rich and I'm very happy with the results of that. And so I'm just going to keep wiping off any access and letting what is have already been done penetrate through. And as you can see how that turned out, it's really rich and I love it. Okay, so here I tried to take the brush when I was going on the sides and I'm showing you my mistake. I, um, some of the stain dripped through and of course I'm um, even trying to paint that over that's not going to cover that up but that's okay. I love how everything else turned it out and just as in life nothing's perfect. So what I decided to do was just to cover that up I'm just going to use some flowers and I wanted to use some flowers on um, at least one of the sides anyway. And of course my signature, I have to pull out the bling. So what I'm doing is using some uh, all purpose glue. I used um, the glue first and then I'm taking the crystals and um, these are the stick kind, so it's easier, not the one step-by-step -step kind that I use often. And I just took them and stuck them all around. And so that let the two colors join together without showing. And here I am with one of these sides and just showing you how easy it is just to lay down and stick and they stick pretty good right right on so I don't need any I didn't need any additional adhesive and I'm just pushing out any bubbles that I have just making sure that it's firm and it adheres pretty good so with the other leaves I just played around with them and placed them and of course my pop of bling on the eyes and I love how this turned out. And so here this is um, in my home. I just, um, just got just gonna display one side and then show you how I flipped it over and display the other. I love how this project turned out. Those were a dollar um, a piece and that plaque was seven dollars and that's just a real budget friendly project. If you like this project, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscriber button. You don't want to miss out on any more projects. See you later, Crafty Nistas.